What is up, y'all? Good afternoon. Um, so I want to talk about this whole Cam Newton thing. Now, I made a video and I deleted it, um, but basically the video was talking to everything about what I said, but I did say something that wasn't correct, and I just want to make sure that I say the correct thing now. So in the video, I stated that I thought that uh, the person that was interviewing Cam Newton was like one of his baby moms, but apparently that's not true. So I did my research and I want to make sure I tell you guys the right information. So Cam Newton or the person that was interviewing Cam Newton is not his baby mom. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Um, so yeah, let's talk, let's kind of talk about Cam Newton real quick. So basically, um, if you guys haven't seen it, I'm pretty sure you've seen the interview with Cam Newton basically talking about how he has all these different uh, children. He has eight kids with three, diff three different baby moms, and he said that he even wants more kids. Um, the main topic of conversation was the fact that this guy is going around creating these broken homes because he's not going to be able to nurture and care for these kids in the way that they need to in order to grow up successfully, you know, uh, without any sort of trauma, without any, you know, um, I don't know, like just overall nurturing just to make sure that they have a good life. Now, he does provide financially. Obviously, the guy has money and stuff. And I think that the idea is that a lot of these dudes who think that they got a lot of money think that that's all it takes for them to raise their kids properly, which is crazy to me. Because even nowadays, there are some men who are married and they are the providers, they are providing financially, but they're not there in a nurturing level. Like we all know, a two-parent household helps the kid grow up because they understand both the mom, how that mom has that nurturing side, and also how that dad has a nurturing side. And if it's a really good relationship, the son or daughter can see that firsthand like oh my god that is what a man is supposed to that's how a man's supposed to treat a wife or oh my god that's how a woman's supposed to treat a man you know that is what's supposed to happen with these multi-millionaires i.e nick cannon or cam newton what they're doing is that they're just force feeding money to these kids um i really doubt that they go to every single birthday party or every single event or they're there for special occasions and they they talk to their children about like hey who is your crush at school or you know how does your teacher who are your best friends what are your doctor's appointments and all these different things that you have to do with a child you can't do that with eight of them there's no way there's no there's no there's no way at all Another thing within the interview that was highlighted was the fact that Cam Newton says, hey, you know, my fear of divorce is extremely higher than, um, you know, my fear of finding a wife, you know, or being married. So he's very afraid of getting divorced and getting his money taken, but yet he's having all these different children in which he has to pay child support for over 18 years and more to make sure that these children are taken care of. So it comes to ask the question like, Y'all really out here creating, like, kids, but you're not afraid to be married? Like, that's that's kind of weird. And a lot of answers to that that I've seen is, well, a lot of men who think like this, um, the reason why they're so afraid of marriage is because they want to live the single lifestyle while being married. And they know that shit is not going to fly, so they're going to end up getting divorced and having to pay money to their wife or ex-wife and my whole thing is like well if you're not ready to get married then you shouldn't really be ready to have all these different kids anyway you know like at the end of the day you have to trust your partner unless obviously there are some different circumstances but you have to be able to trust your partner to develop that relationship and be able to get married and then once you guys get married you have your little kids you know and I can't tell you how to live your life because everybody lives their lives differently. Everyone does things completely different. There's some families that, you know, they have kids and they end up getting married after the fact. Like, I can't, you know, I can't be the one to, to say what's the right way. Nobody really knows. But at the end of the day, like, you have to see what's good for you and what makes sense for you. And if you do bring kids into the situation, you want to make sure those kids are taken care of as well to the best of both y'all's abilities. So let me know what y'all think. Um, I just wanted to make sure I provided like, you know, uh, correct information in this video. That's why I deleted the other one and I'm just uh, posting this one here. But let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye.